All right, next property now is 4 Sycamore Drive in Little Egg Harbor. Uh, this home is approximately 1,886 square feet. Uh, we also have more information on this one. It, it states that it's a three bedroom, three bath on 0.23 acres. Let's see if our MLS data confirms that info. So it is a three bedroom. It does have two and a half baths and it's in really good condition. The play, uh, I guess this uh, home is part of um, an association because there is a clubhouse and a pool. It uh, has a new kitchen, laminate flooring, two pull-down attics for storage, and uh, you have a two-car garage as well. Taxes on this home are $5,122. Um, the home can be resold for approximately $305,000 when it's in good condition. Budget $50,000 for repairs, and the rent on this could be around $2,300 a month. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this home is part of an association. I know you might have an info on it. didn't it. pop up on mine, but um, you know, it may be, I mean, if there's a clubhouse, then I end up. Well, that's shared. I would say probably as part of an association, um, which brings me into another little talk. So I'm going to do so. The title seems to be clear on this property. The one thing you do have to worry about on properties like this is homeowner associations, which we call HOAs, and condo associations. Um, they're both treated a little bit differently. On HOAs, it really depends on how things are filed, whether or not you actually owe anything towards the HOA um, when it's in foreclosure. Or on condo associations, you really need to call and find out exactly what they're paying a month because you could owe up to six months. That's the max you can owe, but you, you may owe up to six months. You may owe nothing. It really depends. So you really have to do a little bit of research and um, find out what's paid per month so you can kind of figure that into also what you want to bid. Um, other than that, just make sure you call the taxes for this. All right. The exterior of this house was found as a vinyl siding on it in average condition. Roof is an older roof and uh, is in fair condition. Overall, the house is average condition. There was no visual signs of major repairs needed to the exterior. And I'll just mention with this property, um, again, assuming the numbers are correct, if it was purchased at 200000 and we lended 85% uh, of the purchase, that'd be 170000 Now, if you add in the rent, that's a total loan amount of 220000 for this property. Um, would have to appraise for 314000 or more if we were to lend the full amount. So just keep in mind, you know, once the appraisals come back, that's typically when lenders kind of make their decision on, on what they can lend. And if it came back to 300000 they may haircut the leverage a little bit. Okay. 